this is Sir Juicy Jerry and I am going to teach you how to create flip book from PDF and of course this is uh, powered by Canva and Hazen so if you're a student or a teacher or pretty much anyone who would want to uh, make an interactive document perhaps for your um, theses for um, presentation or uh, modules that you'll be uh, giving to your students this would be a, the best way to encourage um, engagement with uh, your stakeholders and I'm going to show you or um, to illustrate or sorry to uh, teach you how to to use Canva and convert your PDF file into flipbook all right so let's get started so from your canva if you already have an existing presentation okay i will be picking this one because uh, i'm using canva for my presentations in my class so this is um instead of using powerpoint i'm using canva for my presentation and this could be the the module or the handout that I would be giving to my students and I would want instead of saving this just as an ordinary PDF file I would want to convert this into flipbook so uh, from this what you can do is to go to the uh, top right button with this uh, three dots and you might want to type on the search button Hazen so uh, here you would find Hazen flip books and when you click that you might want to check the number of pages that you will include to be part of the flip book document so I on my presentation I have 12 pages and I'm clicking all of them to be part of the Hazen flip book document and I'm saving that it might take a, a long while, but uh, while we wait, oh, it's just very quick because my internet is kind of um, stable right now. So after a few moments, your design has been saved and you have to view in Hazen Flipbook. So you have to click this um, link which will lead you to Hazen and your flipbook is actually being processed and could take a few mi minutes depending on the size of the publication okay so it's um, loading and what will happen is uh, you will be directed to the Hazen flipbooks site so it will take few moments for it to fully load because there are 12 pages but I would want to show you an example on on how it looks after the the complete conversion from the canva file or a PDF file to a flip book so I have already had a sample of uh, my presentation for macro perspective of tourism and hospitality so this is my canva presentation and when you try to flip that it uh, sort of uh, becomes an actual flippable book okay so you could flip that right or left or left to right and this is flipped using book style you could um, edit some setting you could actually edit the background as well and it would have um, sound as if you're flipping an actual book okay and you could actually go back and forth you see that uh, learning can be so much fun and uh, you don't want to for your students to be reading just a, a boring PDF file you could um, zoom that in or zoom it out okay you could um, increase the you could zoom that in and again flip flip it back and forth okay so let's go back to our canva file or to our hazen um, document 
So you see on the left side of the panel, there are various applications here. Um, you could type in the title of this document, but that will be um, visible on this um, top left area, but I don't want that to have um, title, so I just want it as is. You could have page effect, so you could uh, have the effect of a magazine, book, album, slider, cover flow, or one page. So usually for my presentation, I would be using um, either a magazine or a book type. Usually for a magazine, the, the flipping sound is much softer as compared to the, a book type wherein the cover page would have that hard sound effect. So for this one, it's kind of softer. And then for the background, there are various templates by which you could choose from to uh, for your background so so say for example i'll be using uh, a simpler one because the presentation is ve already very colorful okay so i i have have pre preferred a more neutral background because the presentation is uh, already very colorful but there's a range of uh, or a selection of background by which you could choose from you could also adjust the color and style so you could set transparency or blur okay but i'm good with this one now um the logo is only available for um premium subscription of hazen flipbooks but for the free one or the free version you cannot remove the watermark all right so for here there's the control button and the pagination bar for the bar type you could um, have the bar type hidden page thumbnails numbers and page thum thumbnails and numbers you could also set a background audio to make the the reading more interactive so all you have to do is to drag um, a background music of choice so here i have I guess i have previously downloaded a background music so that when the your readers are trying to flip the book it's much more you you select a more conducive or more appropriate music for your presentation so let's just stop that and uh you could also add images or uh video So say for example, uh, you want to, or at the image, you could set a frame by which you could include the image if that was not part of the original presentation. All you have to do is to drag or dr drag and drop the image that you want to include on your presentation and then stop editing. And the same process goes with the video. If you want to include a video on your presentation, you also have to select a space where you are to include the video and then you um, paste the URL here. Okay, so in this case, since we won't be adding a video, I'll, uh, we will just be removing this this space or also a web or a link so so basically we have explored the the buttons here so let's check so this would be the cover page and we could flip we could start flipping pages And then you could also flip that back. All 
All right. And then if you want to send the the link, the link this uh, link or share this to your friends or to your students, you could just click the share button and then you copy the this URL to your friends and then you could just send this on email or on uh, messenger and then they will be able to receive this version just like uh, what I've shown you and they could start flipping pages and reading the PDF file of your materials so basically that's it but there's another option and I'll teach you another version of creating uh, flip books on on my second uh, feature but uh, I'll stop from here if you do like this content and or if you find this very helpful please give this content a thumb up and don't forget to uh, subscribe to my channel and hit on that notification bell for more updates and more tutorials all right this has been Sir Juicy Jerry thank you very much and have a good day. Bye-bye.